At this time, we have the singular honor of observing the work of Ivan Borzomenji Naj. Today, he will be in consultation with Diane Carney and Kit Fedorov. Dr. Naj is the founder of one of the first family therapy centers, the Eastern Pennsylvania Psychiatric Institute of Philadelphia in 1958. He was the organizer of the first nationwide family therapy meeting in the 1960s and the first large-scale family therapy training in Europe in Leyden, Holland in 1967. He is one of the founders of the American Family Therapy Association and has been an, an editorial advisory board member of Family Process from in its, its inception in 1962. Dr. Naj is the founder of the Contextual Therapy Approach and the main author of Invisible Loyalties and Between Give and Take. Additionally, he is the author of Foundations of Contextual Therapy, and we're proud to say he's a fellow of AAMFT. And now, Dr. Naj. Uh, <clears throat> thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, uh, let's see a few things about my uh, orientation to this. I um, consider, I was told that this is a consultation, not just a show, a presentation for you. So I take that seriously. I believe that uh, consultants should be helpful to the therapist, or in this case the team, and to the family. <clears throat> And also, they should be useful, in this case, for a demonstration or <clears throat> teaching purpose, if you want. So I would like to play it from both angles. I don't, <laughs> maybe some, some people here consider it more as a demonstration and uh, turning to the audience, because there are many people in the audience. I consider uh, the role to the family as the number one uh, program for me, agenda, <clears throat> the role for the therapist as number two. <clears throat> and um, somehow, you know, making it easier for you to follow as the number three aspect. So I would like to hear briefly from the therapist about the story of the therapy and the family. And then I would like to mention a few things about what I think about it. How do I anticipate what could possibly be helpful to them as I am dealing with the family? And uh, please uh, make your mental or real notes about what you would like to question about it or, or what is not clear. So I would like to ask Diane and Kit to function as a team here. That's another important thing for me. I have done awful lot of co-therapy in my earlier years. And I'm very curious about the nature of co-therapy. That's a major factor in this. I would not want to play down that factor either. Who we'll starts? Well, I'll start telling you a little bit about the family conversation. The identified patient is age 18, Mark, resides with his mother and maternal grandparents. He has a history of poor academic and behavioral problems since the first grade. He had multiple school placements, 12 schools in 12 years. His academic uh, failure was noted and behavioral problems. In the fall of 1987, the identified patient stole $6,000 of bingo money from his grandfather, which his grandfather was keeping. It was not his money. He was keeping it for the organization. The identified patient ran away with a 19-year-old friend to Hawaii. Five <laughs> days later, he returned home only after he was assured that this, he, there would be no consequences as a result of this. In February of 1988, he stole $400 again from his grandfather with no consequences for his actions. Over the past year, he became less communicative 
withdrawn and increasingly difficult in school. However, presently, we have seen this family for 19 sessions since March of 1988. Presently, he has returned to high school. He is making passing grades, and he has received two A's, one in a computer uh, programming and the other in his piano class. He was originally diagnosed with a conduct disorder, unsocialized, non-aggressive, and a, an access to an antisocial personality disorder. The identified patient's mother, Linda, age 40, is divorced and unemployed with a long history of psychiatric hospitalizations, which began at the age of 16 years. She is the oldest of three children, a brother age 36 who is married with three children and a sister age 26 who is separated with two children. She reports childhood as wonderful until the birth of the last child, a girl <coughs> whom she <coughs> refers to as a bitch. She said that she got uh, attention until the time of the birth of her sister. She dropped out of school in the 10th grade, however, obtained her GED in 1975. She was married for 10 months in 1969. She was hospital during her pregnancy of the identified patient. Divorced after two years of separation, she lives with her, with her parents since her divorce. The con consistent diagnosis uh, is paranoid schizophrenia. Uh, I will give a little history of the grandfather only in that he has consistently been employed. It is a middle class family, lower to middle range, and he is very much involved with clubs outside of the household. Uh, the grandmother has a history of medical problems, diabetes, and uh, recently had a multi-cardio bypass. Uh, she is a housewife and stays in the family and takes care of uh, the 40-year-old daughter and the 18-year-old. The great-grandmother is 80 years old and resides in her own home. The presenting problem is that when it came to the clinic was that the identified patient dropped out of school, would not work, stole money from the grandfather, intimidated and hit his mother, and would take no responsibilities for himself. <coughs> Excuse me, I, I just got a message here <coughs> that the family is restless. I suppose they might threaten to leave and that we should start with them now. That's the suggestion. It's okay with me. Um, it fits in that most important is to try to help them even with this. So it's okay with me, and we can talk more about them later. Is there any one more statement or so that you no, would like no. to make? I think we probably should go on. Yeah, well, I, I don't want them to leave right now. <laughs> no one wants that to either. So what in, in terms of myself, I mean, I will try to do two things. The one is to be available to everybody, which is part of my approach, the multi-directed partiality. And the other one is to somehow see relationships, not in terms of structure and forms and, and all of that, but in terms of a life giving and receiving. What is the flow of giving and receiving? What is the balance? Maybe that's the essence of my approach, but you can read the books, which is indicated <coughs> outside what kind of books you can read. All right, so let's... let's
Okay. Watch your foot, Mom. Watch your foot. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Start now. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's not me on the line. But anyway. Well. Willie, you tell you? Let it know you, Doctor. Rosalie, she tell you. Oh. And Wendell. Yeah. Come on. Hi. Hi. So they will let us know when we can start. Yeah. Really prefer not to speak. Mm -hmm. You don't have to speak. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> okay. All right. So. So I'm glad you are all here. And um, let me tell you a little bit about what I expect, and then I wonder what you expect. I, I understand that you have been seeing um, um, Diane and um, Kit for a number of months. And um, I see my role as a consultant. We are also doing all of this. We do camera work and um, teaching tape, as you know, and um, observers and all of this. But as far as I'm concerned, I want to be a consultant. I want to be helpful to you, if I can, in one time, and helpful to to the therapist. So that's one thing. The other thing I want to say that I'm not interested in chasing, you know, the bad things to point the finger, blame, fault, you know. <clears throat> I'm more interested in where the resources where people are. Um, able to help each other, care about each other, rely on each other. I'm more interested in that. Could rely on each other. Those things are more important for me. Um, so, uh, maybe, maybe I, I ask also first, Diane Kit, um, what would you say about what uh, to expect from today? Do you, either of you does have any comment on that? What to expect today? Well, I would like you to help Rosalie and Willie to be able to resolve some of their relationship issues mm -hmm. and to try to help them um, be able to relate to each other in their own age level of de developmental staging mm -hmm. and be able to go out and take a trip if they wanted to together and do some good things together. Mm -hmm. To make them turn to each other and uh, relate to each other. Af uh, after how many years of marriage? 43. 43 years. It's going to be 42. 42. Oh. 42. Mm -hmm. 42 years. <laughs> I think she's 81, not 80. It don't make a difference, really. Oh. Well, good. Kate, do you want to say something about what to expect from... I can't produce miracles, that's for sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got one. <laughs> what, what kind of uh, job do you think is, is to be done, you know, today in this hour? I think it's an hour. In this hour? I would hope to, as we focus on the marriage between Willie and Rosalie, that that would de-emphasize some of the relationships between 
uh, Willie and his grandson, Mark. Mm -hmm. And by turning in towards each other and firming up their marriage relationship a little bit, that Mark could sort of relax a little bit and tend more towards his piano and his computer work and other things in school that he's mm -hmm. doing so well in. And perhaps maybe address um, some of the termination issues that are coming up real quick with our graduation in December. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's very important. And maybe today we can work on that too a little bit. That uh, the therapist cannot continue beyond uh, December. So that's a very important thing. I, I think we should understand that too. All right. Um, let me ask um, Linda. I, oh, all right. <coughs> Ordinarily, I would like to. Well, let, let me see. I still wonder about. It. I would like to call you mother, and you grandmother and grandfather, and you by your first name. And you, oh. of course, are great grandmother. Mm -hmm. That's what I would like to do. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Pardon? Is it all right with you? Sure. <coughs> because if we call everybody by first name, then um, somehow I, I lose the geography of who is where. Um, is anyone ready to make some? comment here that, you know, you, you wanted to say something about today, what should be done, what you expect from me or from this day. You don't have to, but if anyone has a comment about it, it's fine with me. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if I have a comment of today, but uh, I'd like to say I think, Ken, I think they've helped us as a family tremendously. They've, mm -hmm done very good with us. Uh, things are shaping up a little better at home than they were before. Mm. So we are getting something out of it. I mean, uh, mm. it's not a lost cause, like uh, I would say. Mm. Uh, I'm glad to hear it on two counts. The one is that things are better, as you mm -hmm. see, it, and also that you acknowledge their uh, work, because I think it's, uh, it's important. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's fair to acknowledge if it is helpful. Sure, it's been helpful. <coughs> so I don't claim that I can add so much new, you know. I may be, you know, useful, maybe not so useful, because I'm glad that the main thing is that they have been helpful. <laughs> well, Diane helped me when I was down a lot, and, um, and she picked me up, <coughs> and I, sometimes I want to give up, you know, and, um, mm. and I know my family needs me, but um, sometimes I say, what I'm doing here, just getting the nags, you know, from because my, mm. my grandson, he, he don't take no for an answer, never do. Mm -hmm. And that gets me aggravated when these two get together. The, mm grandfather and a grandson. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he is wrong, but I'm not saying he's all wrong either. Mm -hmm. They both can get right in the middle of it. And it's just, I just get torn apart from it. I really do. What, what is going on in that tension between them? What do you think? What, why is that tension? Why is that well, I think Mark don't realize I'm married to his grandfather. He wants me for himself. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I mean, he just wants to do something to. I don't know. I don't know if he's doing it intentionally or what. I mean, uh, if we talk about doing anything together, Mark always say, "Papa, why you can't take me." When you mention um, wanting to give up, is it to the point that you think of not wanting to live? Or well, it doesn't get I just it? wish I could get away from the house completely. I don't know. I just feel like I'm just trapped and can't get away. 
But not to the point of wanting to kill yourself. No, I ain't got that point yet, no. no. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Who can you rely on, really? Who, who do you rely on? Yeah, my husband. Mm -hmm. Only two. Yeah. Hmm? Only two of you now. Yeah, they are two. Oh. <laughs> I can rely on him. You rely on him? Yes. I mean, there's things that, uh, well, you know, that I like to have be done in the house. He says we can't have it done, so I get aggravated about that. She means there's repairs probably in the house that needs to be done and stuff that right now we just can't afford to do it. We've been there going 14 Things years and did a thing. <coughs> thing, not one thing. We have a lot of medical bills. But we ain't paid in any of them water either. That can be high. Yeah, they're very high. Well, um, your wife mentions that uh, she relies on you. What do you say about that? Who can you rely on? I'm an almighty God. Mm. That's all I can rely on, believe me. Mm. Uh, you know, I have all my faith in everything. You know, I hope I can keep going. That's all. It's you feel the others are uh, sort of leaning on you rather than you leaning on others? Well, I try to help them. I try to help everybody. I, you know, I He's more do a lot of charitable work, I think. And, and in return for it, I think God gives me the strength to keep on going, mm -hmm. you know, the, to keep it up. Charitable work of what uh, nature? Uh, I work with the Knights of Columbus. I work with the Lions Club. Uh -huh. And we help people. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, we have a big nut to crack at home, too. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's. That don't get taken care of too much, though. Out comes first. Mm -hmm. It really does. You feel that way? Yes, I beg them to uh, give up. Uh, some of his uh, um, activities. I mean, because uh -huh. I feel that we need it at home. Uh -huh. This shouldn't be all because we got a daughter is sick. Uh -huh. I don't feel like it should be all left mm -hmm. on me. I think we both had our daughter, mm -hmm. and I think he should be there to help me. When I need him, he's not there. Okay, who can? Who else can you rely on when he's not there? When he's not there, mm -hmm. I'll call my mother and them, but they can't. Yeah. They don't come to me. I mean, they they said nighttime most I call. I mean, I'll tell you the truth. I'll be honest with you. I leave a lot in me. I really don't say too much about it. Mm -hmm. Till I get filled up and I'll tell him. I say, Willie, don't you think you go on too much Monday? Tuesday, he knows, I would say sometime he's home, but he's even going Tuesday, Wednesday, well, Thursday, sometimes he's home. Friday, he's gone. Mm -hmm. Saturday, he goes by his mother because he's got a sick mother. And Sunday, he's gone. Mm -hmm. So really, I don't have him at all, really, that much. So we can't communicate too much at all. We don't. So I think that's yeah. where Mark gets to see it thinking that we're not a husband and wife. But who listens to you when you have some things to say? Who, who, whose ear you can use to listen, someone who cares to listen? That's how my, my, my sister Your and my mother. mother and my daughter, my, Your daughter and I call my son, my son don't think it's right at all. How about him? Can he listen? And well, he hears me talking in a room, I'm sure he does. When you are upset and cry, what does he do? What does he tell you? He don't tell me anything. He says I'm like a big baby, and I really like to tell mm -hmm. you I don't cry that much until I get filled and that's it. It may take me about six or seven months before I let out cry. Let me ask <coughs> grandfather now. Um, do you see uh, Mark being helpful to you, like, uh, you know, Caring about how you feel, or you don't see that? No. I Can't don't see it. I, I think he cares in his own way. Uh huh. Well, maybe. Maybe in his own way, maybe. 
How does that show? Maybe, maybe if I fell out, maybe he'd pick me up, maybe. Uh-huh. You know. And then again, maybe he cares, I don't know, but I don't, I don't see it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, it's because uh, he tells him he's no good, he's never going to be any good. Mm-hmm. And I think he gets disgusted about that, mm-hmm. you know? And I tell him mm-hmm. all the time, he shouldn't tell him that like that, you know? Mm-hmm. He came from a big family, and that's the way they were brought up, I guess, mm-hmm. you know? But the children today, I mean, you can't talk to them like that. I mean, mm-hmm. maybe I was brought up a little different, too. I wasn't But that, that does way. he really mean to discourage him, or does he like, would he like to straighten him out? Yes, he does. Mm-hmm. He, but he's not doing a good job about it, because um. it's going... It's not going the right way. He's going the wrong way. You think some, he could do something else that is more helpful to Mark? I think he can, not just putting him down all the time. Uh-huh. If you keep putting somebody down, you're not going to be any good. You mm-hmm. might as well say, well, mm-hmm. you don't care. And I like last year, he missed the whole year of school. How is it when he does something well, like he had some good... Um, you had some A's in school, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Does uh, someone sort of acknowledge that, that this is good or something, or only the bad things are pointed out? No, he, when he, um, like he got his report card, and I think I said the wrong t- thing. I said, Mark, why did you get that F? Now tell me, you, you goof. I say, you got a good report card in, you got an F. Mm-hmm. And he's, he got highly mad at me, you know? Mm-hmm. I said, now don't get me wrong, Mark. I says. You got a good report card, but I don't like the F. You, you think you can bring it up? And he says, yes. I said, that's all I want to hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, Mark? Well, when you do something good, who can acknowledge it in the family, Mark? Oh, mm-hmm. my grandmother and my mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got an F and algebra, that's why. Algebra is a week, so I'm not going to So that, then you got more flack for that than, than acknowledgement for the good things? Or? No, I think they were just disappointed in that. Yeah. That's about all. Mm-hmm. That was the first quarter, and I missed the whole year of school, so that was pretty good. I got two A's, a C. I got two D's and a, an F. Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. I missed the whole year of school, considering that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, some people got four Fs in their report card. Mm-hmm. F and L, yeah. mm-hmm. But you see yourself as moving up now mm-hmm. in school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think she is moving up. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I, I will come back to you in a minute because I would like to. But what about the? Um, your, your grandfather made the comment, well, um, that you, you probably would like to be helpful or would you like to care. Uh, how is that? I mean, is it just fighting between him and you or do you see yourself as, as caring or doing something for him? Well, I'll do something for him when he does something for me. Uh-huh. You know, and it just goes like that. I don't think I should always do something for him that he doesn't do nothing for me. Uh-huh. So, mm. Uh-huh. What is an example when he was doing for you and you were doing for him? Can you think of that? He was doing for me? Yeah. Can you think oh. of a, a, an example of that? Well, I could. <clears throat> I guess I do chores around the house. He give me money for it. You know, and uh-huh. and I keep, you know, keep, he'd give me money for it, so we just work together on that. Uh-huh. I get allowance, like, but when I don't know, uh, and sometimes I'll do some, and he won't give me anything for it, you know, so. And, for the, and then just makes me not want to do it anymore, I guess. So. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Well, but these are chores, you know, I'm, I was interested in. Oh, God. Is he, do you see him at times be unhappy or kind of uh, yeah. down or something? No. Well, he's just, he's never home, so. He's not much home, yeah. yeah. 
What about your grandmother? How do you, I mean, when sh she's unhappy, she cries, I guess, and... She really doesn't cry that much. She just feels sorry for herself, she I guess. She feels sorry for herself. I but guess. But can you, do you feel like you want to do something for her, or...? Well, there's not much I can do. It's m more up to him, uh, my grandfather, uh, to do something, to take the time off and help him, you know? it's not much I can do, you know? Mm. She gets depressed over that, you know? If, if it was me and I did something, and, and I try to do something to correct it, but it was, it's him mostly when she cries. So. Mm -hmm. so. And if you when your mother is unhappy, can you? Well, she really hasn't been unhappy, you know. She's like, not unhappy. Not really. She's not. When I wasn't in school, she was depressed. Yeah. And unhappy, but she hasn't really been unhappy. She gets unhappy when my grandmother's unhappy. Uh -huh. But that's about it. She really hasn't been upset. But then you care more about her than your grandmother, or, or how, how do you... No, do I care about them all equal. You, you Same. care about Same. them. What can you do for them when they're both on that? When it, it's never really happened, really. Uh -huh. But I guess I just try to help both of them. You and know, how, how it kind of affects you? me, you know, with school and, you know, around the house. Plus so we got a, um, a lot of people come over. You know, and I got to do my homework, and and it's got about f six other people in the house. There's like twelve people in the house every day, from about from about five to s to seven or eight, and uh, and I have to start my homework real late. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, I get kind of upset about that. Who are the other people? Does. My aunt and her two kids, uh -huh. and um, my great grandmother and her daughter. And. Uh, that's that's your mother's sister. Yeah, no, no. Hmm? No. Yes. My mother's sister. Yeah. What's mm -hmm. her name? Annette. Annette. Mm-hmm. Your mother's sister. Uh huh. And her children. What about your friends? Do you have friendships? Yeah. Yes. Boys, girls Boys too. Boys, yeah. What? Well, you think you are? But I guess they don't know. Uh, I mean, I figured since I was um, trying harder in school, they can pay for my insurance on theirs, you know. But I guess they want me to go to work for it, you know. I can go a lot, have a lot more to do if I had a car, license. I mean, my insurance. I have a license, insurance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I can have more social life if, you know, go out more. Ah, sure. Every, every, yeah. every young man thinks that way, sure. Also, a kid thinks like that, too, too, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I I believe that somehow you are um, available to the family. I don't know in what way. I feel you are giving in some way that may not be so easy to see, but that's just my thought. Well, I guess in my way of giving is, uh, I keep saying this, but going back to school made a lot of things better. So, you know, instead of just giving up. Uh -huh. You know, wish I could have just went to get the GED, uh -huh. but I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go back to school and go to college, so I'm doing uh -huh. pretty good now. So and that's um, giving to the family. Everybody feels better. I think it's giving better. to them. Yeah, they all feel better about that. Uh -huh. I think I, he th I the kid thinks so that. too. Yeah, I can see that. To be a real bad uh, guy would not help the family. Oh no, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't come home drunk or do drugs or anything uh -huh. like that. You know, stuff like that. So you don't do real bad things? You no, think? no. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, the only thing's come in an hour late, you know. Not not even that, you know. Come in late, you know, when I go out or something, that's about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, he really don't. I don't even come in late, He's really. Don't you I'm be just saying, he, he I don't is probably the worst So he tries to stay out of real he, bad things. Right, I he, mean, does. He, did, he did annoying things, I know, to you. But. <laughs> But he could be much more. Oh, right. many, Listen, many. he does. It could be yeah. worse out there, but he don't yeah. get into all that. To the real bad company or something. I wouldn't mind, though. No. I think since, uh, since I'm not as worse as a lot of people, I, I think they should give me insurance. You know? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I see. Well, uh, you know, that's... Uh, that's, you know, the kind...